Yo, what is good, YouTube, and welcome back to another JC2K video. In today's video, we're doing episode number 21 of I Build Your Teams, the series where I build my viewers' teams into the best teams possible for my team unlimited and or competitive play based on how much NT they have, what their squad is currently looking like, and things like that. If you want to be involved in a future episode of this video, make sure you drop a follow to my Twitter. My link is always down in the description below. And be on the lookout for a tweet about this series each and every week on Friday night. And drop your team under that tweet for a chance to be involved in the video the next day. Um, but yeah, before we out with this video, additionally, if you haven't, make sure you hit that subscribe button, help me push towards that 4,000 subscriber mark on the channel. I, up uh, I upload every single day. I would really appreciate your support if you haven't already, if you do subscribe. Without further ado, let's hop right into it and start off with the first team today, which comes in from my boy, Luke uh, Goat. Um, and he says, well, he actually didn't say anything, but look at his squad does not have a lot of MT. That's the first thing I will note. So I actually think do making a couple moves to potentially free up a little bit of MT would not be a bad idea. And that one move that I really think you could make would be selling a guy like Wang Zizi and picking up a Jaron Jackson Jr. If you don't already have him, he is very, very easy to get. Uh, really can get him in about 30 minutes. Not a challenging card at all to acquire. Um, and that's a card that I would definitely pursue getting out of the new moments of the month drop um, to replace Wang. You can sell Wang, free up some MT for a future content drop and uh, be in a slightly better spot, I think, with your team overall, um, because I actually think Jaren is better than Wang in my personal opinion. So that is another thing that I will say. Um, this squad, though, is super solid. You got two great point guards. I think this Harden is the one that like is the box topper, so you can't sell him. Um, he's a great option for sure. Lamelo's still really good. Reggie and Kazzy are two of the best, probably the two best reward shooting guards in the game. And Reggie, I still think, is probably the best shooting guard period in the game terry and tatum is great at the threes aka and release lucas is super solid and yeah and jaron at the fives would be great as well i think looking to potentially upgrade maurice lucas to a guy like pink diamond lamar odom is another option you could pursue just because i think lamar gives you a little bit more offensive flexibility as a better shooter with a slightly better release and a little bit more size as well that's something you could consider but if you want to stick with maurice definitely wouldn't fault you for that but i definitely would swap out wang for a free option like jaron to save yourself some of tea and even to improve your squad just a bit second squad today comes in from mark he's got about 830 kmt um okay so looking at this squad i like a lot of your team like a lot of your team is super good you already have direct granger so you definitely know what you're doing um lonzo you're on next gen so i'm a big fan of lebron on next gen much bigger fan of him on next gen than current gen d book is okay kobe is solid again uh john morant is a card i think you could sell because he is still pretty expensive and i think you can replace him with a cup one of a couple of different options i think um with the mt that you have the option i personally would go with would be jalen rose but if you want more of a fun small point guard type of guy i think you could go the option of derrick rose i think d rose is a great card so Super fun card, probably the most fun card in my team to use as well. And that might be something I would consider doing. Additionally, I think that the other upgrade that you should be looking to do for your squad is picking up one of, or even you could potentially pick up both of a small forward and a shooting guard. I am not a huge fan of Danny Granger, and I'm honestly not the biggest fan of Devin Booker either, even though he has a really solid jumper. Um, so I think I'd pick one of those two positions and pick either pick up a guy like Opal Clay Thompson or a guy like um actually, you know what you could do? Pick up a pink diamond Andre Kirilenko. He is super cheap. I think he, I don't even know how much is right now but maybe 40k maybe even less than that like definitely not a very expensive card pick him up to replace granger that's a super easy upgrade and then you can replace devin booker with a guy like opal clay thompson you make those two upgrades as well as picking up a new point guard with like a d rose or a jalen rose jail or a jalen rose and this is one of the best squads that you can build in my team definitely a really good all-around team next squad today comes in from mary he's got hoff uh he says his terry is pretty juiced with pickpocket blinder chef quick chance some good badges there he's an opal tier and plays on next gen um, Lamello and Hughes, really solid point guard duo. Clay and Kazzy, I'm cool with. Uh, Tatum, Odom, Siakam, AK, Yao, and Aiton. And honestly, he's got 65K. So this is another one of those teams that I feel like is definitely a solid squad, but not like the greatest jump off the team, jump off the page team. You know what I mean? Like it's, it's not like over the top, one of the best squads in the game, but it's a really, really well put together squad with a lot of good reward cards in addition to really good budget guys and a top card like Clay. Um, for me personally, I think if you want to free up MT, you can have the opportunity to sell a guy like Terry. You definitely could. I don't think there would be anything wrong with selling Terry. He would sell for probably 150-ish thousand MT with those badges on him would be my guess and free up a bit of MT to give you more flexibility in future weeks and have like 200K. Or I think you can swat, slide him in right here to replace Kazzy. I think he is better than Kazzy, especially with those extra badges on him. I'm a huge fan of Terry. I actually wound up picking up a Terry tonight back for my squad because I sold my Terry a couple weeks ago and I wanted to pick another one up because he is still such a good card and I felt like he uh, definitely has a spot on my squad as my backup shooting guards so um definitely think terry is a great card i think you can definitely put him in here for kazzy if you want but otherwise 
honestly, I don't think this is the type of squad that is in need of really very many, if any, upgrades. Definitely a great team. Really well put together squad as well. Um, next squad today comes in from Aaron. He's got about 800 KMT. He says his Deros has soft interceptor and his offense runs through Kazi. Um... I'll be completely honest. I am not the biggest Kazi Russell fan. I think I might be the exception to a certain extent in that pers in that specific uh, take. Uh, I just think that Kazi, he's not a bad card, but I think that there are better options at the shooting guard. For example, a Reggie Lewis, uh, a Clay Thompson, a Terry Tishinger. I think all of those guys are better than Kazi at the shooting guard position. And honestly, for me personally, what I would do is I would move Terry to the shooting guard position, take Kazi out of your lineup entirely, probably stop or swap Reggie and Terry as well, start Reggie, bring Terry off the bench and then look to pick up a couple of threes like for example Andre Kirilenko and Lamar Odom because I'm not the biggest fan of uh, Danny Granger either but your point guard position is great your shooting guard position even if you decide to stick with Kazi is great I definitely would swap out Granger for an AK and then if you do decide to move Terry to the two um, you could pick up a guy like Odom as well to play the three um, Siakam is great Yao is super solid Great KP is solid as well. I think picking up a guy like Jaron Jackson Jr. because he is free is not a bad idea to give you that third center option. A guy who's a little bit more athletic and a little bit more of a stretch big than, than for example, Yao. And even than KP, he's a much better athlete uh, and I think more versatile. So I think having uh, Jaron Jackson Jr.'s type option, who's definitely a free card and a great overall card, as an option for your squad would be something good worth doing as well. But if you're not going to upgrade the shooting guard position, then the one position I would go ahead and focus on upgrading right now would be picking up um, a replacement for Granger, probably an Andre Karolinko. And uh, even if you decide to keep your lineup this way, you could also replace Rudy Gay with Lamar Odom, just because I think Odom is a little bit more current and a slightly better overall card, unless you have a super super Rudy Gay. But this is another really good squad. We've had a lot of good squads this team, this video that don't have a lot of flaws on the team. So uh, just continuing that theme so far. This next squad comes in from Edward. He says everyone is badged that he's about 400K or almost 400K thinking about getting Grant Hill. I'll be completely honest. I'm not super high on Grant Hill. I don't think he's a bad card, but I don't think he has the elite movement that makes him really worth picking up. He's a super solid defender but i feel like he's honestly kind of similar to tatum the jumpers are relatively similar tatum has his on quick though uh grant hill does not have his on quick um tatum i think moves a little bit better offensively they're both really solid defenders i think tatum is kind of a free grant hill type of card they're very similar level cards for me personally grant hill would not be the direction i would go i'm going to recommend this upgrade again i know i've mentioned it a couple times but i think swapping out danny granger for a guy like andre karolinko who i think is a significantly better card than granger an elite defender with an elite jumper um that just a one simple upgrade that you can make that doesn't cost you much in T. And then I think you can potentially look at the power forward position if you wanted to. Um, for example, a Galaxy Opal Yi, Jean Leon. I'm not entirely sure that I pronounced his name correctly, but a guy like that, if you wanted to, to replace a guy like Jaren, you could even, for example, swap Jaren with Chris Stapps and sell Chris Stapps and pick up that Yi card at that power forward position because I think, um, I mean, Jaren and Aiton are two, the two best free centers in the game, in my personal opinion, except for maybe Yao. But you have Yao too, so you could really just go Jaren, Aiton, and Yao and have Yao in your last three on your bench. I would put Yao in your last three on your bench because I can see your level 40. So that's one thing I would do just so you have him in the event that you're struggling against somebody who is really killing you with their Yao. Uh, I would have him in the last three. But besides picking up a guy like um, AK to replace Granger, um, this is another really good squad. Maybe, like I said, maybe back a power forward like Yi, and that's about it. This is just another phenomenal team in today's video. Um, second to last team comes in from Dylan. He's got 500 KMT on next gen. Harden and Lonzo are his PGs. Definitely two of the best point guards in the game. MJ and Reggie. I think this guy, I feel like I remember that he said MJ is his favorite player of all time. So for me, if, if that is true, keep MJ. Have fun with it. That's the point of this game. Giannis at the three, Yi at the four, Cat at the five, and then off the bench, Damar, Siakam, and KP. And KP. Okay, so first thing I'm going to say, recommended this a couple times, pick up um, Jaron Jackson Jr. and sell KP. They're on very similar levels. Jaron's a little bit more athletic. KP has a little bit more size, but statistically, Jaron is the better defender and significantly better on the perimeter. Um, I would pick up Jaron, sell KP. I think that's a pretty easy swap, and it'll save you a little bit of MT. Next, I think you definitely look at the small forward position. I, I, I hate to be so repetitive. I feel like I've been very repetitive so far in this video, but a guy like Andre Karolinko is just very, very reasonably priced, and he is such an upgrade over Tamar Garza. A better defender, not as good of an offensive player, probably in terms of his versatility, but he's going to be a better master. He has better size. And at the three, I think it is so important to have an elite lockdown defender. And I think AK can give you that. And that honestly would give you one of the best defensive lineups in the game off your bench with Lonzo, Reggie, AK, Siakam, and Jaren. That is an absolute lockup squad. Your starters are totally fine. I'm not a huge fan of Jordan, but if he is your favorite player of all time, definitely support running him and having fun with him. Um, but yeah, 
that's about the only upgrade I would suggest is swapping out KP for Jaren and Damar for AK. I feel like I've been pretty repetitive in this video with the upgrades I've rec recommended, so I do apologize for that. But when those are the upgrades that I think are best for these squads, I'm going to continue to recommend them. And then for this final video of the day, it comes in from my boy KC. He's got 140K, and um, he's got Lonzo and D. Rose, Clay and Grant, KD, Lamar, LeBron, AD, Joel and uh, Kat, and he's playing on next gen, so that definitely does, I think, make LeBron a better option because I'm much higher on LeBron at next gen. Um, and here we go. This is another team. Grant Hill, I think, is a solid card, but I think you can do better. Uh, for example, I prefer Terry uh, Dishiger because he has that better movement ability. That being said, Derrick Rose does have the best dribble sigs of any card in the game, in my personal opinion. So I think that if you're going to run your offense and only have one ball handle off your bench, having D Rose as that guy is definitely a great option. I think Grant can play at the two, especially in that situation, be more of a lockdown defender type of guy who's not who's not entrusted with having to handle the ball as much. Um, I would consider also moving 80 to the back at five, selling Cat and looking to pick up a guy like Yi, uh, or even grinding for Siakam in clutch time, one of those two guys to play at the four. Um, then LeBron and one of those two guys could be your fours. I think that would save you a little bit of MT um, and make your team a little bit more versatile just because I think 80 fits better at the five at the, than at the four, but he's great at the four as well. Uh, and this is just another one of those teams. I feel like we've had a consistent theme of teams in studio where we, they don't have a lot of flaws, not a lot of teams that have significant flaws in this video. Um, so I do apologize a bit for that, but I mean, yeah, this is another great squad. Like, there's not a lot of flaws. Again, you could swap out a guy like Grand Hill for a Terry Dishinger. You can move 80 to the 5. You can pick up a Siakam or a Yi. Like, there's a couple things you can do, but nothing crucial with this team again. And I think that's really a consistent theme for most of these teams today is that we just found a lot of really, really good teams uh, that were not in need of significant upgrades. And the upgrades that I did recommend were mostly more on the budget side. But uh, hopefully this video was interesting and hopefully it did help you out if I did get to your team in this video. If I didn't get to your team, make sure you drop it again next week under the tweet. Preferably, I will say the earlier the better, like be on the lookout Friday night for the tweet and drop it then because as y'all can see, I'm recording this at 11 p.m. on Friday night. So if any of the teams have been dropped after that, obviously I'm not going to be able to include them in this video. So that is one tip if you want to be in the video is to drop your team earlier. But uh, yeah, if you did enjoy the video, make sure you hit that like button, leave a comment and subscribe and I'll be back with more 2K content very, very soon. I appreciate y'all. Peace.